Let's talk about today with God, where you have a, a God day, a complete day where you spend with God. It is a day that can be life transforming. Now, people think that this is Sunday, where you have the Sabbath and, and you spend the day with God. But it can be any day. It can be a day where your awareness is heightened and you're aware of God's presence. It says in Amos 5, verse 6, it says, Seek the Lord and ye shall live. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to die if you don't, but you'll have less of a life than you would have if you were fully alive. Now, you know what I'm talking about. You've had those days where you have been fully alive, engaged, where you've been in the zone, where it's been magic. Now, those are the days where you are spending it with God. Life is a glorious gift from God. Are you treating it that way? You should. This day, like every other, is filled to the brim with opportunities. But it's also filled with challenges and it's filled with choices. But no choice that you make is more important than the choice you make concerning God. You can choose to place God at the center of your life today, or you can choose to neglect God to the sidelines, put God on the back burner of life. We don't always intentionally neglect God, but sometimes we just simply allow ourselves to become preoccupied with the business of living. And then, even without realizing it, we gradually drift away from the one that we need the most. But God never drifts away from us. God always stays with us, is aware of us, and waiting for our asking for help. God remains always present, always steadfast, always loving. As you begin this day, place God first in your thoughts and in your prayers, on your lips and in your heart. Begin today with God, and you'll find no better guide and companion in the business of living today.